Today's Bible story is the story of Samson. God's people, the Israelites, now lived in the land of Canaan, the land which God had promised to Abraham many, many years ago. After the death of Moses and Joshua, the Israelites thought they didn't need God to help them. As soon as they stopped worshipping God, they started to do more and more bad things. Then they would be taken over by a king who would make the Israelites their slaves. Then the Israelites would say sorry to God and ask God to rescue them. God chose people called judges to lead the people and help rescue them from their enemies. What's that, Francis John? You've decided that you want to be the world's strongest teddy, so you have been doing some exercises. Would I like to feel your muscles? What, like this? So what type of exercises have you been doing? Lifting honey jars, I might have known. Well, in our Bible story today, we hear about Samson, who was the strongest man in the Bible, and how God gave him the gift of strength so he could help his people, the Israelites. Are you ready for our story today? The story of Samson. The Philistines had captured Israel. The Israelites cried out to God to save them. And God chose Samson as judge to help them. An angel told Manoah and his wife that they would have a baby and that God had chosen their baby to save Israel from the Philistines. To show that their baby was special and belonged to God, their child would never drink alcohol or have his hair cut. When the baby was born, his mother named him Samson. Samson never cut his hair and as he grew up, he became stronger and stronger. Once he killed a lion with his bare hands. Another time he caught 300 foxes, tied their tails together in pairs, put a burning torch between their tails and used them to burn down the Philistines' crops. He broke ropes tying him up and then killed a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of a donkey. And he escaped one night from the city of Gaza by lifting up the city gates and carrying them up to the top of a hill. The rulers of the Philistines went to Samson's girlfriend Delilah and promised her lots of money if she could find out the secret of Samson's strength. Samson, Delilah asked, how could someone make you weak? If I'm tied up with seven bowstrings, then I'll be weak, said Samson. When he was asleep, Delilah tied Samson up with the bowstrings. Then she called out, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. Samson woke up and snapped the bowstrings. You have made a fool of me and you lied to me, Delilah said. How can someone make you weak? If I'm tied up with seven new ropes, then I'll be weak, said Samson. When he was asleep, Delilah tied Samson up with the ropes. Then she called out, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. Samson woke up and snapped the ropes. Delilah was upset. How can you say you love me? She said to Samson, yet you won't tell me how someone can make you weak. So Samson told her, since I was a baby, I've belonged to God. To show that I belong to God, I've never had my hair cut. If my hair was cut, I would be weak. When he was asleep, Delilah cut Samson's hair. Then she called out, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. But Samson's strength had left him. The Philistines captured Samson. They took out his eyes and put him in prison. But while in prison, Samson's hair began to grow. One day, the rulers of the Philistines were having a feast in the temple of their god. They decided to have Samson brought to them so they could laugh at him. Samson asked the servant who had brought him to put his hands on the pillars that supported the temple. Samson prayed to God to give him strength once again. Samson pushed the pillars and down came the temple on Samson and the Philistine rulers. Samson led these lights for 20 years as their judge during the days of the Philistines. In our story, we heard how God chose Samson as judge to lead God's people, the Israelites, even before he was born. 
and as a sign of the gift of strength God had given him, Samson never cut his hair. I wonder what gifts have you got? Maybe you were good at music or art or making models. Maybe you're good at sport. Maybe you love words or numbers. Or maybe you're good at listening to others, cooking or making people smile. You may like to close your eyes and think about something that you are good at now. I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer too, please say amen at the end after me. Dear God, you gave Samson the gift of strength to help your people, the Israelites. Thank you that you have given me different gifts. Please help me to use them to help others. Amen. What's that, Francis John? You are not sure that you're ever going to be the world's strongest bear. So you're going to have a think about what you are good at and how you could use that to help others. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe some of your friends can show you what some of your skills are too. You think that's a good idea and you're going to ask your friend Wexton now. Well, thank you for joining us for the story of Samson. We look forward to you joining us again soon. Goodbye and God bless. <laughs>